All right, well, here we are. We've got a Parsun two horsepower outboard on a 15 foot Winona canoe. So the Parsun gets up to a decent speed. I'll have a look when I'm out there uh, and bring you some footage of that as well. But um, can't actually go as at full throttle just because a little bit of splash that the that the shaft makes comes into the back of the uh, of the canoe. But uh, I'll make a little little plate at the back that'll stop that happening, so it can get up to get up to pace. And also, it's uh, as you'll notice when we get out there, it's uh, because there's a bit of weight at the front. I've got uh, two 20 liter drums of water in the front. Could do with some more weight in the front. I mean, like an extra person would be ideal because it's it's spending a lot of its energy pushing the boat up onto the water rather than if there was weight in the front, it would be uh, cutting through the water and then it'd be able to uh, to deliver to the full full power that it's got but we'll um we'll have a look once we're out there okay so we've been running it's just been just been a little bit drizzly and rainy so i haven't been able to have the camera out but um so we've been running for 15 minutes now um so the motor's nice and warm i didn't need to use the choke when i when i started it just before um and it had been sat idle for a couple of hours um so they're a pretty good little thing so there's three different versions that i've seen one doesn't have the throttle on the tiller here it's a it's a switch and the other one's got a lot squarer case this has got the case of the 3.6 so let's go so constantly in gear What do we get up to? We got up to 12, 12 k's an hour. Um, I reckon it'd go a little bit faster. It's probably a little bit too deep in the water here. Um, spitting out lots of nice water. It's not even warm that water. It's quite cold temperatures. Well, there it is. Pass up.